at knee that's what, pointing away from you, closer towards the body, and you're just going to heel toe this right foot all the way to the other side of the mat, to the left. This done what I do too often on my days off where I have just kind of vegged out for a little bit too long. I'm going to change robes because I'm just vibing with my other one. Uno momento. Okay, so anyways, um, I have just been kind of lazy today and that's okay. That's the other thing I have to tell myself is like, I seriously have some ADD going on in my life and it's okay to just freaking chill. Today I could have started with my podcast way earlier, but my brain would rather just watch YouTube and things like that because it's mindless and I can just focus on it for a long period of time and not focus on the things I need to do. So it like definitely is tricky. And the funny thing is the second I start my podcast, I really enjoy it. It's just getting my brain to do that, that for some reason is a challenge for me. Some things that help me that I have learned is waking up and immediately getting ready. So like taking my shower and doing some kind of movement. So yoga, HIIT workout, something that's gonna really get you going. Also, I'm so on the fence. Now that my eyelashes are like actually going away, I know I'm gonna miss them. Good morning. Hey, leave him alone. He's my little baby. We have a room full of animals right now. And uh, he's just got neutered yesterday. So he is under careful watch. But um, here. I'm watching a YouTube video, of course, because I really like to, you know, have that while I'm drinking my coffee and like getting I need to get a new uh, Joby mine's just like my friends messed with it too much and now it doesn't work very well but anyways <clears throat> I love watching YouTube just while I get my day kind of started because it doesn't feel as like unproductive <clears throat> that went down a weird pipe I don't really know what to do on these vlogs yet and that's totally fine but today I am gonna try to get a few things done before work. I need to finish up my stuff for my podcast. I just need to get it done. I'll feel so much better when I do. I need to record something for King really quick, my producer. And I need to, uh, I already did my meditation and my yoga, done and done, which is kind of nice. And I just got this book. You were born for this that I want to start filling out, but I'm not sure if I want to do it this morning. I might do it right now while I'm just waking up and stuff. And also, I got my new skincare this morning, so I'm going to show you guys that too. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to make some healthy lunch and then go to work. I work at 2.45 today. Gotta love having a day job. It's so fun. Just kidding. Um, but we're getting closer every day to making music our full-time job. And I'm learning a lot about myself and the choices I've made and why I'm where I am because I haven't put myself out there enough. 
that's why I'm vlogging because I need to actually not be scared to put myself out there. I fully recognize that I've done it to myself at this point, so. Cheers to that. This little tray I got for like $3 from Target. Iconic. going into S2, which is like a supplement store here, to find out what my BMI is and also for me to get a couple things. Pull the mole. Alright, so this is what I got at the store yesterday when I kind of cut off from my vlog. So this is just my normal protein that I'm going to start trying. Um, it's the chocolate banana flavor and this is like my meal replacement protein. And then this is gonna be the protein I take after workouts and then I take this ignition with it. So yeah, I, I spent a long time talking to the people in the store and of course I went in there and I was like, I want the most vegan, natural thing. And the guy was actually pretty cool and he was like, well, do you just want that because that's trendy or do you like need that? Or are you like dairy intolerant or whatever? And he kind of explained it all to me and that was helpful for me because I do think this will be the best, but if it's not, I can return it and try vegan. So yeah, he kind of explained to me that a lot of the vegan proteins have to have like chemicals added and you know, all that stuff. So I just want to give this a try first, see if I like it and if it makes me break out or if I don't like it, then I'll try something else. working since I got home this morning. It's about 1 o'clock now. I probably got home around 9.30 or 10. So not too long, but kind of got home and immediately got to it. And I wanted to have just kind of like a sit down talk about something that I've been thinking about lately. That is rejection. So I was having a phone call with my producer this morning and I was going to start performing with a really cool group this summer. And I was very excited about it and it would have really helped me a lot with my performance skills. I know I have what it takes, but the truth of the matter is I'm not practiced enough right now. I don't have the uh, experience that I need. I'm not, everyone knows if you're going to be a really good performer, you need to know the songs you're singing inside and out. You need to know exactly how comfortable you are with them and just, you need to be so confident in your performance that you can let loose on stage. And, I am fully aware that I have not reached that level yet. So I think I was being a little bit discouraged by the situation. And after having a talk with my producer, I realized that it's not worth it to be discouraged because the truth, the hard truth that I have to accept is that I'm not ready yet. I wasn't ready yet for that experience in my life. And sometimes adversity is better than anything because 
now that I have accepted that I just wasn't ready for it. It was a really big opportunity and I was excited, but it wasn't supposed to come to me yet. And in a way, it has showed me that I need a lot of work and that's what I have to focus on. I can't focus on the fact that I was rejected uh, or anything like that. I need to just accept the fact that I have a lot of work to do and these opportunities will come back to me when I'm ready for them. Maybe not that exact opportunity, but when I'm feeling ready and when I'm confident, the universe will just let me have what I've been working for. But you can't, you can't cheat the system. You have to do the work first. I'm in a session right now as well, <laughs> double tasking. Um, I'm in a mixing session on, on Lander, if you know what that is. But anyways, I, I just thought that that was some valuable information to share with you guys because it's been making me feel very vulnerable. It's been making me feel rejected and discouraged and unfortunately something I do is when I am discouraged I avoid the thing I need to do even more so I think in these vlogs I'm going to hold myself accountable for practicing by getting little clips of me practicing and then kind of seeing my progress throughout hopefully I keep this up that's my other problem is consistency but that's for another video I think one of the main points of this one can be handling rejection and just know that you're not gonna get a yes your first try every time. And that's that's something I learned with modeling too. You have to be able to accept no, and you have to know there's more work to be done before I can have this opportunity. And that's the way the world works. You're not gonna be handed everything. Some people are, but you're probably not gonna be handled, handed everything. You're gonna have to work a little hard for it and earn what you really, really want in life, or it's not gonna be worth it in the first place, so. That's what I'm telling myself and that's what I'm moving forward with is going to be working harder, really putting all I have into improving my performance, which is equally as important as improving my album. So I need that. I, I need to stop lying to myself and avoiding it and just do it. And I don't know if that is helpful information for anybody out there, but that is just where my head is at this morning. So I think while I do this session, since she's really heavy uh into mixing right now i'm just gonna grab my guitar and just kind of practice on the side that's what i need to get used to is any chance i get practicing so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> 